Hello, and welcome to what is probably the final F-099 stream. So, the King League is here. The final league, all of the tracks are now available in the game. All of the uh, SNES tracks, anyway. It's taken... How long has this game been out? Like a month and a half? I did one stream of it with Jack, First Impressions, and I've done one stream each of the leagues, so... Unless there's some big surprise update. Hey, we made a bunch of new tracks just for this game. They're not going to do that. We know they're not going to do that, right? Would be cool. I'd like it if they added new content to this game, but... Uh... No, I think this is it. Can you take the heat of the toughest F-Zero track? So we have new tracks. We have Mute City 3... We have Red Canyon 2, and the surprise final track. Made sure to play this on a weekend, so we will have the opportunity at the Grand Prix every 30 minutes. Uh, I have... I haven't... I don't remember if I've played this game since the last stream of it I did. I was playing it pretty regularly for a while, as were a lot of people, but uh, I, I did fall off. And I, there's no way that I'm going to get like all the badges and everything in this game. Though it's nice that we have the like things to work towards. I understand that uh, this game also has been, uh, it has been losing players. Uh, do I dare? I'm gonna stick with the Stingray, because I don't know what these tracks are, and these are gonna be hard tracks, so probably require... Lots of, uh, lots of tight turns and things. Firefield. I know the name. There were a few Firefield tracks in, uh, F-Zero GX. They were not, like, the ultimate big bad final boss track like they seem to be in this game, however. Alright, so this is Mute City 3. This is new. I... Vinny did a stream of this recently, so I have watched that. I am not totally blind to uh, this or the other... What was it? Port City? I, forget, I already forgot what the other one was. Red Canyon 2. So I've seen this track. I don't remember if I saw Red Canyon 2, and uh, I have not seen Firefield. This just kind of has these little sections with the the little spike walls, and it has a minefield, and that's that's kind of it. I think I like the donut best. The donut is my favorite uh, favorite mute city. Also, the donut is an amazing place to use the 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 skyway. I don't think this track has an amazing place to use it. The, the best place is probably that series of turns there. Would like some KOs, but I'm not getting them. Get out, you blue bastard! He's still on me. Wow, that sucked. I fell so far because of one blue bumper. Okay, go up, please. Yes. Oh, this is a bad start. I don't like this. Final lap in 72nd place. Maybe, uh, maybe Fire Stingray was a mistake. Yes! Okay, one KO. It seems like that would be a good place to get KOs at the very least, because you'd be able to knock people into the, uh, you knock people into the spikes and they're just, they're in a very bad position. That seems like a good place to ping-pong people. Other than the minefield, that seems kind of, that seems easier than Mute, uh, Mute City 2, though.
as with previous streams, I'll probably do the uh, the time trials for these last three tracks in the uh, somewhere in the middle of the stream. Deathwind Two. Oh, this one again! I hate this one. Oh no! And the and the stingray is awful on Deathwind tracks. I like the Stingray. I, I want to I, I want to stay in the Stingray, but uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that it is probably the worst vehicle in this game. Because, as I've said in every single stream, it doesn't matter how good you are, you are going to hit people with 99 racers on the track. And a vehicle that's designed to excel at uh, not hitting things because it has a low acceleration stat. It takes a while to get speed again once it once it hits something, once it loses speed. It's just kind of doomed to fail in a game like this. Also, it helps to, like, play well. That, that would be a good thing for me to do. I'm not doing that. I don't even know who that is. Wow, we're, uh, is everyone just packed in the front? We're pretty spread out back here. Probably not an ideal place to boost. This seems like the best place to boost, uh, through and between those, uh, those gravel patches. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna survive this one. I might need to try this again, not with the Stingray. Alright, I need to catch up. Give me the boost pads. Might have been better saving that for turns. That's okay. I'm not getting a lot of, uh... I'm not, I wasn't getting a lot of balls in the very back. Yeah, give me the... Oh, I missed! Alright, well, I'm gonna survive. Hello, Darian. <laughs> Jack was, uh, Jack has plans this afternoon, so we're not, uh not able to stream together. Are planning Jackbox tomorrow afternoon. That'll be with the gang. Frederick and Frederick 64 side by side. Wait, no, never mind. Frederick got knocked out. All right, that's fine. If I if I survive Deathwind, that that's I'm cool with that. And you know what? It's easy to, easier to survive if it's early. The Night League was the hardest one for me because they had uh, Deathwind 1 as track number 4. And by that point, you're down to the 40 best racers. Not that it's so much a skill issue as it is that uh, the Stingray is just at such a disadvantage on that specific level, the straightaway, as compared to the vehicles that can just, like, get ahead and stay ahead. It just, you, you start in the back and you stay in the back the entire race. It, it was really hard to get past the, uh, the Death Wind as the Stingray. Ew, I didn't like that. The, uh... I think we saw in the previous stream, the leagues have been rotating. So it's not... 
it's not only the King League running right now. Actually, we got lucky that it is the King League currently. Yeah, look at those Stingray turns. And I end up running into the clusterfuck erasers, and it doesn't matter how well I made the turns. Ah, uh, stop! Leave me alone! I wish the Stingray was, like, the bulkiest. I know that's the thing for the, the Wild Goose. I know that's what makes it special. But man, that just, it feels like something that Samurai Goro should have. He should be the bully. Can't give one racer everything, I suppose. God! Ping Pong and Hong Kong and uh, bad on health. I'm hitting walls. I need balls. Oh no, I'm gonna rank out. I got a sky weight. Give me the balls. Give me the balls. Yes. Save it! Saved it! We're still in it. What's next? Red Canyon 2? Gotta be Red Canyon 2. I'm not doing great, but that's okay. I just want to get to the end. I just want to unlock the tracks. If we don't, then I gotta wait 30 minutes to try again. Okay, Red Canyon 2. I liked Red Canyon 1. Also, it was a it was a tight turns track. Could be good for Stingray, so. I just need to get top 20. Top 50% for the final track. What other locales were in later F-Zero games that weren't in uh, this one? Vegas Palace was uh, in F-Zero GX. I like those tracks. There was a Sonic Oval. I don't for I don't remember what setting that track was in. That was a fun one, though. I considered doing streams of the previous F-Zero games. Because, again, I've only played GX, so it might be uh, might be fun to do, like, one stream of F-Zero Super NES, one of F-Zero X. Actually, just those two. We don't, we don't need to worry about the Game Boy Advance ones. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh, no! I should have made the jump. I, w I was a coward. I, pu I played it safe. I will know to make the jump next time. Give me them balls. Oh, no! I ate that. That was also probably the worst time to use the Skyway. Well, maybe not. I get past the jump at least. Alright, here we go. That series of turns might be a good place to use it. However, I don't have too much trouble with them as the Stingray at least. Ah! I got greedy for the KO, and it bit me. It's still not top 20, that's not good. Mm. Nope, I need to stay ahead. Get me up there. Oh, that's bad. Very bad. I'm, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna get kicked out. This is it. And I'm not gonna get enough balls for a last minute Skyway. No! No! Get me up! Ah! All 
All right, well, not doing Stingray next time. Those turns, though, what, uh, what should I do? I guess I should try the Wild Goose. Wild Goose is usually a safe bet. I don't like the Golden Fox. I don't like going on the, uh, I don't like going on that, uh, that one-dimensional cheese strat. The, the get ahead and stay ahead. It can be optimal with luck, but it kind of takes all the fun out of the game, you know? Well, I'll observe one lap. I want to see what Firefield is like. No, keep looking ahead. Don't face backwards. There we go. I guess this does follow, like, the video game law, that the, the, the final level has to be lava. This definitely looks like a track that I would like to have the Stingray on. It's also a, uh, that's kind of a mean charge station. You got magnet walls. Another weird curved charge station. Optional charge station. Okay. So you could forgo it if you really wanted to. I would love to have the Stingray on that map, but I, I, it's just a struggle to get there with it. I could have done that. I, I could have raced. I could have raced a little better and made it. All right, we got all of them at Firefield. I'm gonna wait until we get all of them to uh, to do the time trials. Now I believe that is just for. Uh, yeah, it's just overall. Finish first in the King League? Eh, ah, that's not gonna happen. Still only one first place victory, and it was the one that I got that previous stream on the, uh... On Silence, I think it was? With, uh... Wild Goose. But that wasn't a 99 race, that was the end of a Grand Prix, so there were only 20 racers that I got first. Cool down with a team battle. Nope, no death wind. Did everyone pick the same vehicle? No. I didn't actually see which one I picked. Oh, I'm still the Stingray. Okay. That's fine. I'm still missing first place victories with the Blue Falcon, Golden Fox, and Fire Stingray. I don't think I'm going to get any more, but... Uh... Would be nice. I assume that a first place victory in a team battle would still count for that. It's still first place. I think I just spun my own teammate. Which happens a lot. People don't really care if it's a team battle. They still act like it's a normal, uh... They still act like it's a normal game mode. They just spin everybody around them. Should have saved it for this spot. Everyone's gonna pass us. Oh no! Oh, that wasn't good.
Oh, no. Sorry. Once once I'm in, like, the top ten, I, I get focused. And then I'm just silenced, except for the occasional oh, no. Basically, I'm saying Knuckles is a pro at F-099. Oh, that's the end. Ah, oh, I thought I had another lap. I miscounted. Not that it really matters. Winning a team battle is mostly luck, because there's 48 racers outside of your control. You do your best, but... There's not a... I feel like there's not a lot of reason to play, uh, to play team battle. There's one badge tied tied for it, or tied to it for winning 20 times. Again, mostly luck. Okay, see, I, I, I edged it out. I got a positive coin flip. Four more of those, and I get my uh, my team my team battle badge. in a game that's going to be shut down in six months. Ten more minutes? I thought it was every half hour. I guess it is every... wow. Well, we spent a good amount of it in the... in the Grand Prix, I suppose. Let's do a Blue Falcon. I still need most of the goals with the Blue Falcon and Wild Goose. I say like I'm ever going to get all of these badges and things. I'm not. Non Tondo. Mike. Princeton. Test 1. Harry Tolka. Yeah, give me the donut. I like the donut. Yeah. Aww. Oh. I don't know if this game would have lasted longer. I mean, it's still live. You can still boot it up and play it now perfectly fine, but uh, it's fading off as games do. I don't know if it would have had more longevity if it launched with more tracks. I definitely felt a lack of the at the game's launch. It, did, it didn't feel like a full game until now, now that we have all 15 tracks. Alright, getting ahead of the pack. Ah, never mind. I'm back in the pack. Get me out of here. Boy, I'd love a first place. Is it in the cards? Probably not. I don't want a boost, but Falcon can't, uh... Falcon only gets most of his boost back. On a boost pad. Oh, that's bad. No KOs. Hitting walls. Down to 20th. I heard the noise, but I don't have the balls. What is... Oh, that was just the boost pad noise. Okay. Alright, final Skyway. How far up am I gonna get? this far up. I hit both of them! I just hit everything! Oh! 
Man. 15th. I took a thre I took a risk threading the needle and I failed spectacularly. Who else is here? Ninja Ninja. Mr. Dummy Commander Nontondo. Mickles. Noble Boy. Samuel Soul. Our ticket. Why not? Top three A pilot. Oh, uh, number one A pilot. That's nice. I would like to be the number one Blue Falcon. Another five minutes. Do I want to do another, uh, another Blue Falcon? Do I dare I get okay. I was I was spent too long considering. I kinda don't like that it it picks for you randomly instead of just having one less vote. Imagine presidential elections did that. Everyone who doesn't vote just just one of the two picked at random. Blue Falcon takes so much bullying, though. I'm sure there's a ti- well... I say I'm sure there's a technique to avoiding the pack, but... That's kind of been my consistent complaint about this game, is that there's not really a technique to it. The technique is to play the Golden Fox to get ahead and stay ahead. Or to play the Wild Goose and be unaffected by the Clusterfuck. You can win as the other vehicles, but, uh, there's, there's some luck involved. Then again, I'm no expert. I, I'm not someone who comes in, uh, I'm not someone who comes in first place every time I play this game. I'm not someone who comes in first place ever, so take my opinions with a grain of salt. Probably a technique. Some eyes, uh, some optimal places to uh, spin attack people to uh, increase the likelihood of KOs or just to messing with them. Like I said, those uh, those spiky wall areas on uh, was it Red Canyon Two? No, Mute City Three had those. That seemed like a good place to uh, disrupt people, and I'm probably not probably not capitalizing on those places enough. All right, seventh place is still not bad, though. Terror Bear. Mr. Sifley. Renzo. In plain view. Again, top A pilot. Number three, Blue Falcon. There is a badge for being the top of your vehicle class a certain number of times. Alright, one more. I'm gonna pick a Wild Goose for the Grand Prix this time. So let me get one, let me get a Golden Fox in. I don't know if you can hear it, there's a, a very loud vehicle outside. Deep City, or nope, not Deathwind. Never Deathwind. Even though it is advantageous for my vehicle, I never want to play on Deathwind. Hate those tracks.
I think I'm now in uh, A+, plus is my current ranking. So I do get uh, S rank rivals. That's mostly just, like, the amount of time you played the game is what that represents, though. That's more about the grind than it is about skill. If you really suck and you just constantly lose to your rivals, you're not going to go up, but... You'd have to be pretty not good for that to be the case. Alright, are we up ahead with all the golden foxes? No, there's a stingray here. Impressive. I used all my boosts, so now I'm in a pretty vulnerable spot. What is Zelrog going to do? Probably die. Uh, uh, uh. Very suboptimal place to boost, but... Oh, not a great start. I failed to I failed to get ahead and stay ahead. Oh, that was an easy KO. I wasn't paying attention, man. Skyway. Yeah, optimal Skyway. Another KO that I could have gotten. KOs matter, but they matter less if it's not like a Grand Prix or a Mini Prix. Anytime there's a series of races, you, uh, you carry over. And any KOs you get add to your total amount of uh, meter, and those carry over between races for the whole thing, so... They're significantly more important in, uh, in pre-events. Wow, I didn't beat any of them? Eh, 45, I guess that's to be expected. Maybe I'll get S on this stream. Maybe I can end my F-099 career by, uh, achieving S rank. Ghost Shark. Good name. How long we got? Okay, Grand Prix is open. It's the King League again. Great. And this time I'm going to go with the with the goose. Yeah, I mentioned I was considering the idea of playing through the previous F Zero games just to get a feel for them, because I haven't before. But I'm so backlogged on games I'm playing, and especially solo games. I'm still in the middle of Book, and Book of Mario. I got a lot of betas that I've been meaning to do and just haven't gotten around to. I did some F-Zero streams in the past, but they're very old and kind of crap. So it could be due for another F-Zero GX stream. Uh, one cool thing about that game, and I don't know if this is an F-Zero X or either of the Game Boy Advance ones. Wow, I already took a lot of damage for the, uh, for the goose. One thing that was cool in GX is that, uh, yes, each vehicle had its own, like, stats and everything, but the max speed and acceleration was always customizable. So no matter what vehicle you picked, you could uh, you could set that at the beginning of any race according to your preference. Kind of. Uh, different vehicles still had their own max speed and acceleration stats, but you could... Uh, there was wiggle room. You could customize a little bit. I thought that was neat. I like being able to customize vehicles to preference. And that's to say nothing of the full, like, 
ve custom vehicles feature in that game. It's also very cool. I need out of the clusterfuck. Even though I benefit from the clusterfuck, I still don't like being in the clusterfuck. Alright, final lap. Definitely would like some KOs. This is the Grand Prix. I don't know if I'm going to get any. Yeah, I tried to be aggressive. That was a bad place to do it. Okay, I got a last minute Skyway. Did I get ahead of it? Did I edge ahead of that guy? I don't think I got any KOs. Though generally, I can just kind of be in a crowd and bump around people and benefit from it in the Goose. The Goose is uh, very tanky and also gets, uh, it gets knocked around less. So in a collision, it takes less damage, as I understand, and it also is harder to move around. There might be some assumptions in there, but that's my understanding. Gotta get that. Yes! Okay. If you miss that first boost, you're just kind of screwed. You're not catching up on Deathwind. Yeah, hit the boost. Slide. Hit the other boost. This is a good start. Don't need to boost much. kind of got to, uh, I gotta not worry too much about my instinct to want to boost all the time, because this is, uh, what was that? Why didn't I move? My health bar is for bumping into people more than boosting. I got the sky away. Could have saved it for the turns. I haven't struggled too much with them, though, so maybe it's not, not an issue. I say eating a wall. Mm-mm-mm, love that wall. Here's this lap three. I think I know what all the sound effects are. I keep hearing that, uh, I keep hearing one of them and thinking it's the, like, full Skyway noise, and it's not. It's something else. Alright, 17. Just gotta do that two more times. The frog. This stream is a day or two after Mario Wonder is released. Looks better than I thought it would. It also kind of looks like a game that I would get bored of fast, though, so I don't know if I'll pick it up or not.
I have seen one review for the similarly timed released Sonic Superstars, is that what it's called? And that was not very positive. I don't know how people are feeling overall about that game. My goal is to be a bully, but not in a way that's risky. I, I tried to I tried to be like too aggro in that spiky area last time, and I ate a wall because of it. Part of what messes with my muscle memory in this game is that in F Zero GX, you uh, in order to do a spin attack or a bump attack, in order to attack a vehicle, you had to also move into them at the same time. It was like a smash attack in Smash Brothers, so I had to, like, uh, I had to tilt right and spin at the same time. In this game, you just spin in place. There's no, like, uh, movement required. So I have to, I have to unlearn that. Which makes more sense, granted. It's it's more intuitive in this game, that you don't have to move at the same time. But it was also very visceral in GX. It was such a satisfying thing to do. You slammed into someone. And you just wipe out their whole health bar. A slight exaggeration, but it did a lot of damage. It was a very high-risk, high-reward maneuver. Good Skyway. Would have liked to avoid that turn. And that red bumper. That's not great. I, if you're, I feel like if you're smoking as the Wild Goose, you're probably doing something wrong. You're not really supposed to be at that low a health with this thing. And now I'm going to be going slower. Boy, I hope I don't get disqualified. I'm not gonna get enough balls for another Skyway, so this is my last chance. Oh, maybe I could. Yes! Last minute Skyway! Didn't help much, but it was nice to have. Do it. We're gonna get S. And Hamlet, Mick, and Shoko. It's nice that it's not one person who is one first every time. Alright, Red Canyon 2. I just gotta get through this to unlock Firefield. And once I get there... Boy, I hope this vehicle can, uh, can survive it. It's tough. I guess if you're not good at turning, that's the next best thing to be. Is tough. I think that was like, uh... That was the theme to Jackass, I believe. If you're bad at turning, you gotta be tough. I should have saved that boost. I, I need the boost for the final this. That's not as dangerous as it looks. You still have, a, like, a ton of control in the... Why did I do that? That was right after all the danger had passed. That was the worst place to do the Skyway. Ah, well. Anyway, you have a lot of control in the air, so uh, even if someone were to knock me in the air, I would be able to uh, just, like, rubber band back. It looks a lot more dangerous than it is. 
I'm glad that I made that because I didn't it, didn't. it didn't even occur to me that I might have to boost to make that jump. I relaxed too much. It feels mean. It won't stop me from doing it, but it just feels kind of like there's no point to bully the people in last. Like, if you get Lucky Bumper and you don't hit the people in the front, then why bother? You just, you... Effectively acting as a snowball mechanic. You're making it easier for the people in first to stay there. Maybe that's why a lot of people just, like, don't do it. I see a lot of lucky bumpers that just kind of look like they just put their controller down. They're not doing anything. Am I the bad guy? Oh, I did worse than with the with the stingray. Maybe I'll try the stingray again. Maybe I was better off doing what I know. Well, my individual placements were better on the first three tracks. I just... I stopped paying attention when it mattered. I, I thought I was safe. I wasn't. I got past it the last second. Alright, let me out. Tracks, but we're not going to see any new tracks. We, we've seen all the pro, all the tracks, all of them except for Fire Fire Field by now, and that's ex that's one of those three tracks that is exclusively an end of Grand Prix track. So I guess I, I guess I'll kill time with some more just regular races. I gotta get there. I gotta get. Uh, I gotta get Firefield today. Boy, back in the back in the King League, it felt like my only goal was like not killing myself. Like as long as I survived, I was gonna get to the final uh, the final course. No, I'm way past that. I I I'm, can survive now, and now I actually need to win. It's cool that skins are in this game. At the same time, it would give me a much better gauge of what other people were playing. If, like, all the vehicles on that screen we just saw were their original colors. Because I'm kind of curious what the distribution is like. I'd be interested in just, like, statistics of how many people are playing each vehicle at a given time. It's definitely changed as the meta of this game developed. And as, uh, it's gradually losing players. As, as was predicted, as happens with every game. Gradually, it's becoming... Fewer and fewer, like, uh, new players. And the player base is being more saturated with the people who, like, are really play the game a lot. That was kind of a problem with, the uh, Slippy Melee. 
when they came out with, uh, you know, the melee with rollback on the uh, Dolph slippy version of the Dolphin emulator. It was cool, but the melee community is so good at the game overall. You're never gonna get, like, new players into that game at this point. Even I, I played that game for like 15 years. I, I couldn't play at all anymore. I was spoiled by the uh, the Smash Ultimate buffer. I tried to go back to Melee, just felt like all my inputs were being eaten. One online just got destroyed by everyone. Wasn't a great time. I hear that's a common complaint with fighting games in general, and I wonder how much of it is, uh... Cases like that, where the community is just, like, really good at the game, or spends a lot of time on it. And how much of it is the game itself, just having a high learning curve. Probably, probably a combination of the two. And it definitely gets worse the smaller the game is. Something like uh, the JoJo arcade game, if you play it on, like, Fightcade. That has such a niche, dedicated community that everyone who does, like, boot it up every day is just going to be obscenely good at it. I'm good at collecting balls. I always seem to place high for the Super Spark collectors. I wonder if that says anything about me. What was the other thing? A team race? No, it was Pro Tracks. I don't want to do... Nope. I am not looking for Pro Laps. Steffi Wolf. Is that like, uh, is that like a gender swap version of the band Steppenwolf? Yeah, I know what I said, Derry. <clears throat> Speaking of prolapse, you know who's really good at those? My cock. It's uh, Captain Falcon's estranged cousin, member of the Captain Bird family, is uh, Mike Hawk. Love to be love to be able to play with Mike Hawk in a uh, F Zero game. Hasn't happened yet. Vinny did a bit in one of the, I think his most recent F Zero ninety nine stream where he was talking about various Captain Birds. There's like a Captain Sparrow in something. I wish he knew about Captain Chicken. I, I wish he knew that Captain Chicken was a real Dragon Ball character. He was a bit character. He wasn't around for long, but he's a real character. And now I want to fill out the extended Captain Bird family. With Captain Falcon, Captain Sparrow, Captain Chicken, all the greats. And Mike Hawk, he's a, he's a lieutenant. He never made captain. Not an ideal Skyway. Ah, I wanted it. I wanted it so bad. Come here. Ah, I didn't have spin. Why am I so bad at getting KOs? It's a skill I don't have. You'd think I'd be great at it. I'm supposed to be the aggressive guy.
guess. I mean, I guess, I guess you wouldn't know that outside of, like, Smash streams. Which we haven't really been doing lately. I haven't done any, like, uh, any open arena or anything. I, well, I get my fix from, uh, I, I play in Wickersham's Smash streams every Friday, so I guess I just haven't felt the need. Could stand to do more. We usually get people whenever I do, but, uh... That's another game that's kind of, uh, gradually losing interest. Although it's been... Four years? It released in 2018, so... Or the end of 2018, so we're about to hit five years for Smash Ultimate. That wasn't a great placement. That was below average. I wouldn't mind doing one of the Pro Tracks ones, but uh, unfortunately those don't count towards uh, the badges that I keep saying don't matter. But I'm still, I, I, I want to go for them anyway. Progression, damn it. Oh, Mute City 3 is in the pool now. Okay, sure. I'll get some practice in. Maybe? Oh. Uh, what happened to the music? Does it always do that? I don't know why that, so that sounded strange to me, like it ended early. Try the Golden Fox for the Grand Prix. I really just want to. I just want to. I just want to make it to Firefield. I really just want to unlock the track so that I can do time trials. Oh, it's a clusterfuck. Oh no, they did the thing to me that I wanted to do to them! Now my health is hurting. I'm not in a great spot. It's fine. It's a normal race, this doesn't matter. None of this matters. Uh, new Aqua Teen Hunger Force announced. They're doing... I didn't see what it was. I assume it would be airing on Adult Swim, because what else would they be doing with it? But, uh, yeah, new episodes. Yes, I'll go up here now. Am I going to get to a yes, I am going to get to avoid the uh the big dumb minefield. Harry Potter and the big dumb minefield. Did I get a KO? What was that noise? I don't know the noises in this game. You know what it is? Is because I'm playing on a delay. So while they would be obvious to me if I was playing in real time, I'm not. The capture card has a 1.1 second delay. Alright, three out of four rivals. It's so close, come on! Third Blue Falcon.
figured they'd be back because before this they were doing like shorts for YouTube. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, top 25 for Blue Falcon. That's a nice thing to have. But I've done that. Hold on. Uh. Okay, I've gotten the top 25 20 times, but I haven't been in F-099 races even 20 times. Okay, so a bunch of them must have been, like, team race and things like that. That's how that happened. I was confused for a second. Do I have a badge? Oh, that's the, the rival's badge. Thirty seconds. I can wait thirty seconds. One of them was a follow-up to Hand Banana and Carl. What even is the the Warner streaming service? It's uh, they're, they're Paramount Plus, aren't they? That's what they're on. the stingray again or am I gonna dare to I, I don't trust myself with golden fox like yeah I'll get ahead but then I'll lose it because I gotta do those tight turns I'm gonna stick to the I'm gonna make another attempt at the stingray I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it my best against Woot dad and plain yogurt I got a rep stingray. If I don't, who will? I don't know if Vinny ever settled on a on a vehicle that he liked best. I also don't know who else plays this game of the people I'm familiar with. I feel like I need a set. I need to find four streamers who play each of the four vehicles. Gah! Awful start. Hate that. How do I fuck up that early? Okay, I'm gonna be play I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna avoid contact with other drivers as much as possible, which is not very possible. But uh, if I can do that, then the stingray can do stuff. Boy, that's a big if. If the Stingray can avoid losing speed... Spoiler, it can't. Alright, here we go. Good Skyway. Give me the balls. I missed the balls. Missed a KO. I hit a red bumper. Everything's going wrong. Sorry, a little loud. <sighs> this is frustrating. I know I'm better than this. Maybe it is just because only the good players are left. Maybe I haven't gotten worse. Maybe everyone else has gotten better. I haven't played this game for like a week or two. I hate that. I hate when the, the thing runs out just before I'm about to hit a boost pad. Alright, I'm still in. What? That's not S? Do I have to do I have to finish the the Grand Prix before it'll give me S? Or is it just barely short? Luigi. The Luigi is here. Uh 
Mario Wonder, the new voices for Mario and Luigi are kind of close, but they're still obviously different. Which is surprising to me, because there's a million people who can do a perfect Mar like Charles Mario. It's really not hard. So the fact that they still sound kind of different almost makes me wonder if it's intentional. Like maybe they want to, maybe they Nintendo wants to dial back on the Mario, like stereotypical Italian thing. That's my take. Maybe it's a guess. Maybe that's not accurate at all. Although it's Deathwind as the second race, not the fourth race, so I'm 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 confident in this well enough. It's also the one with the with the sharp turns, which means I have an I have an edge. Someone already is smoking. I'm about to be smoking. Why do I have no speed? I know why I have no speed, because I'm the Stingray on Deathwind. Why do I ask questions I know the answer to? I swear, even if I hit nothing on this track, it really feels like there's just a property of the wind. The wind slows me down, and that's just awful for Stingray. Because then Stingray has to try to get speed back up again. I think these are just, these are just awful Stingray tracks. And by extension, great Golden Fox tracks. Not only because it's a straightaway, but because they're less affected by the wind mechanic. Okay. I don't have the I don't have enough life to boost, but I'm still in the I'm still in the running. I just gotta make top. 60, I think, is the cutoff. Getting balls. Give me them balls. A little more. Ah! Here we go. Okay. Good Skyway. Well, decent Skyway. Good time for a Skyway right at the end of the race. Seventeen. Just got to do that two more times. Didn't beat Luigi. Luigi's too good. He's probably looking back at me with that weird stare he's got. There's Greek symbols? Huh. Well, I guess there's Japanese symbols, so there might as well be Greek ones. Quentin Tarantino and Wes Anderson, both rivals of mine. Why? Why do I even bother bullying a bullying a, a wild goose? I should see one of those and just, like, not bother. I, I should go for another vehicle. I should hunt down the foxes. I should be a fox hunter. Trying to take down a wild goose at full health is, uh, well, you know the saying. That was bad. That was very not good. I gotta catch up. I gotta get some balls. Very suboptimal time to do that. I should really be more conservative with my, uh, my skyways. Gaining speed, 
I'm, I'm seeing my max speed stat be put to use. That's good. I just gotta... Just gotta avoid people enough. Give me the balls. Give me the balls. Yeah! And now this lap I can do it right. I'm a little behind now, but that's alright. I got a Skyway waiting. Here we go. Now, will it last enough for the big turn? I don't think it will. Maybe it will. It will! Yes! Well, one of them, not this one. Alright, 16th. A lot of balls. red bumpers up here. I'm also low on health. That's not great. Uh, oh, I got a KO. I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, fuck you, Quentin Tarantino. S. Minus. But still S. Race four. Just gotta get through this one. Top 20. I don't need to win. I just need to unlock Firefield. If I don't, I don't know how long I'm gonna go at this. I usually try to keep these F099 streams not too long. But boy, it would be such a shame to just end the final one without all the tracks, I say, as I go into a mine, like, I... Already lost. I already lost. I'm so far back, there's not even going to be balls for me to collect. No chance. Nope, not happening. Everyone in front of me got all the balls that dropped. No catch-up mechanic. Well, I can't write down at least, but man! That's such a death sentence for the Stingray. If, if you get behind- it's, it's the opposite of the, of the Golden Fox. The golden fox gets ahead and stays ahead. The stingray, if you fall behind, you stay behind. There's just, there's no catching up. Not quickly enough, anyway. Not in the span of one lap. If I get a skyway, if I can drive without bumping into other racers, that's great. I immediately zoom ahead, but... I gotta give it at least one more shot. I'll, I'll wait for the next Grand Prix, and I'll, I'll give it one more try. I, I can't actually give it more than that, because I'm running out of tickets. If I finally manage to get the, uh... If I finally manage to get Firefield, then I will do the... I'll do the, uh, the time trials to finish the stream. I feel like the same thing happened with the new Rick and Morty voices. New one sounds okay, but I've heard others that sound way more spot on. You'd think you could just, like, go on YouTube and find people making joke videos about these characters and say, this one, and hire that guy. You'd think it would be that easy. It, it's amazing that 
people seem to struggle to find good impersonators. Because, boy, they're everywhere. You can find an impersonator for just about anybody with minimal effort. Oh, look. Golden foxes. I think. I think those are both foxes ahead of me. That's a stingray. like to catch up, but I don't know if I will. Oh, one of them died. Okay, that's great. Hello, Ding Dong. What are you doing up here being a stingray? You silly goose. Yes. Gotta keep it. Gotta stay in the lead. I gotta not use all my boost to do it, though. Are we going to see the second first place? Yes! Do it! Stay up! This is it. This is the meta. This is the pro strat. You just got a golden fox. Who's that? That's a green. Okay. I could still get I could still get fucked by a red uh sorry a pink bumper. Up oh, someone's catching up. No! No, no! Yes, first place. We got one. We got one first race in a night at one first place in a 99 vehicle race. feel like I should be that proud of it because I had to resort to Golden Fox, but it happened. We got one. Watch me lose anyway. By sheer luck, green team will win. Yep! Oh, wait, no, I'm green team. Okay. I still could have very easily lost just because the rest of my team did badly. Team right? Wait, wait, what? Oh. Someone was, like, uh, bumping, knocking heads enough that they got more points than me. You don't get a lot of spin bonus as a Golden Fox just hanging out in the lead. Now, did that... Surely that counted. Where's the badge? Win, win for, come first with all four machines. Yes, it did. Okay. Well, now I just need to come first with the Falcon and the Stingray. I'll definitely do that before this game dies. I got a new goose. I, li I like black and red. Black and red's a good, uh, good combo. Uh, let me see if I can do that in a 99 race. Maybe I should, maybe I should try the Fox for the Grand Prix. I don't want to. I am not a meta slave. I play Ganondorf in Smash Brothers. I earn my victories, thank you very much. I wanted to vote for Sand Ocean. It wouldn't have mattered, but... I don't love these minefield levels. I'll, I'll take it back. This is harder than the donut one. This is harder than Mute City 2, but... 
the minefield really does kind of stop mattering after the first lap because they're all gone immediately. Might be a little greedy to try to get all of those, uh... Try to get all of those, uh, boost pads, but... I mean, you gotta try, right? Eating a lot of damage. Bumping butts with everybody. I'm gonna try to save this for the uh, minefield. I form formerly a minefield. Now it's just a gravel field. But I also f I, I always feel like it's a waste to go a length of time while holding on to max uh, max you know skyway charge. Because that's a length of time that I'm not able to collect the balls. And I'm really good at picking up balls. Bad boost time. Bad boosts. I mean, good places to boost, but I'm low health now. Greedy boosts. Yeah, Blue Falcon's not doing so hot. The captain has seen better days. Last minute Skyway will not save me. I'm just, I'm too far behind the pack. I at least get top 50. Technically. I beat Snodulus. So we got Elio, Ook, Starscapes. Depends. Sad Panda. Joel! That's not the Joel. I guess I'll just keep doing races as a... You know what? Let's do another team, team event. I'm so close to getting the 20 team races, or 20 team victories. Wow, look how few people we had. What was that, 47? And then it had to fill the rest up? Less than half for a team battle. I have 17 uh, wins in team battle mode. If I get 20, then I never have to team battle again. There's something very transient about these 99 games. Because people can and do archive all of these these games. Like, even if Nintendo wants to take them down, there's... Been, like, like, Mario 35 ha has been backed up and will be playable on emulation at some point in the future, but... The problem with these games is that they need... You know, a huge number of players in order to function. And if there aren't that many players playing them on emulation, then it's not going to matter if they're uh, if they're emulated. You're just you're never going to be able to get the player count necessary to play them again, and that's kind of sad. Look at all these greens up here. I don't like that. There's more of them. They're multiplying. Oops, sorry, red, sorry, pink. Missed out on a little boost there. Boy, it'd be great to get a skyway in this position. I, I gotta be eagle-eyed. I'm... I'm 
terrible at spotting KO potential. But I always got my eye out for balls. Yeah, fuck you, Stingray. Ah! Oh, this is the end. Hello, Elf King. Hello, Elf King. All right, 14th. That was a lot of greens in the front of the pack, though. That has me worried. Despite, like, the top five or six racers all being green. Some technicality. Or just enough lower placements. Let, uh, let pink win. I'll take those. I'll take those coin flips. Four minutes. Let's get another one in. If we get absurdly lucky, if we get two more team battle victories, I'll hit my badge before, uh... Before we end the stream. I don't like the magnets on Port Town. Even the easiest port town. It's just an annoying mechanic. It's a mechanic that probably works in my favor. I think I'm better at navigating the magnets than most players, but... They're just not very fun. Like platforms in Smash. Well, Smash Ultimate specifically. That that's the one that made platforms like sticky and hard to hard to go through when you want to. Just like bumping into people with the wild goose is the equivalent knockback to spinning someone with other vehicles. It's kind of crazy what a bruiser this thing is. But as I've said in previous streams, it is really nice in this game that every every single vehicle plays, like, very differently. I appreciate that about F-Zero. That was a bad turn. I lost a lot of speed on that turn. Probably shouldn't be using the goose, because I've already got a first place as the goose. Probably, I don't think I'm going to get another first place in this same stream, but... If I did... I wouldn't want to do it as the goose. Jack and I finished watching the uh, latest season of Baki the Grappler, the Netflix version, earlier today. Still a very weird show. Probably talk about it more next time we stream together. But a running theme in that show has become, since like the last season and a half or something, people just imagining shit and it becoming real. What's well, supposed to be 
I don't know. I don't know if I want to. It's a stretch to say grounded. But a show that doesn't have like energy blasts or flying or anything like Dragon Ball Z, it it makes some minimal attempt to remain grounded in reality. And yet, it it does shit like. Baki imagines fighting a giant praying mantis, and he shadow boxes the imaginary mantis and gets sent into a stone wall and cracks the wall. Shit like that just happens in Baki. Hey, another win. Fifty seconds. I'm not. I want to risk. I want to. I want to get that team battle, but it's a 50-50, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to wait the 40 seconds. I don't. I don't want to lose my opportunity at the at the Grand Prix. I only got one of those. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe a, maybe a team battle will pop up for the final, uh, like after the Grand Prix or after I do time trials. Assuming I do finally get Firefield, which is a big assuming. How many tickets do I have? I have five tickets. If I really want to squeeze it out, I could fail here and make one more attempt. Boy, I hope I don't have to. I'm gonna- I'm gonna attempt the fox. I don't want to, I don't like to. But I've tried the other strategies. Especially because there's a death wind. Especially because I lost last time by, uh... Just getting an awful start and never catching up. I don't want that to happen again. Look at that Firefield map, it looks so nasty. Oh, Snotilus is back. I can't wait to, like, kill myself on, my, on the minefield or something. Look at all them foxes. Hello. Alright, made it through the mines. A little low on health, but that's alright. Almost dying never hurt anyone. Not gonna risk boosting at this health, though. It's also very bad if I'm in a pack, because I cannot take a hit. And right now, I am definitely in a pack. And I hit a red bumper. Alright, awesome. That's great! Okay, I got, I've got my life again, and I got a Skyway. Not an optimal Skyway, still a pretty decent one. Oh, lost some speed there. Could have boosted through that. Could have not. Did I just get hit by a bumper? The the gray bumpers are fucking me. I'm not even getting beaten by other racers. Can't boost through this because I'm too low life now. I don't like the fox. Have I mentioned that? Okay, that's fine. That's not... A 
confidence-inspiring first performance, but I'm still in it. Somehow did better than, like, 40 other racers in the brawling category, despite being the Golden Fox. Lost, uh, just barely to Rusty Venture. Here we go, Deathwind. Now, in theory, this should be a very Golden Fox... ...favorite track. I wonder if they did that in F-Zero games, if there was ever a game that had, like, uh, track favorites. Episode 1 Racer had that. Every track had a racer that it was like, that was their home track. By the way, I learned that uh, Episode 1 Racer was directed by the same person as the Super NES F-Zero. Not the later ones. But uh, still, that explains a lot. Because that game is extremely similar to the F-Zero series. I wonder how involved that person was with the F-Zero X, the N64 one. Because he wasn't the director of it, and it's an interesting contrast, like two slightly different directions the series could have gone in between F-Zero X and Episode One Racer. It's a, it's a neat comparison, is all. Yeah, I'm doing bad. I'm still in it in the most technical possible sense, but boy, I don't like Fox. This is a vehicle with which you either come in first, or you do just horribly. There's no in-between. I guess that fits the high-risk, high-reward thing I've been talking about, but man... I like being able to play the game, and not getting knocked around and being at, like, a quarter health the whole race. Oh, it's lap three, okay. No, now it's lap four. Spin attacking people as the golden fox. Like, that's a good idea. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh oh! Now, let me up! Let me up! Let me ahead! Fuck you, Rusty Venture. Alright, not getting amazing placements, but I'm still in it. That's all I care about. Race 3, Port Town 2. This one has the magnets. Has this been in every sing in every league? Port Town 2? No, it hasn't. Port Town 2 was in the Night League, the first Grand Prix. It wasn't in the Queen's League. But uh, both Knight and Queen shared... Uh... Knight and Queen both shared Whiteland 1. A lot of shared tracks, despite there being three Grand Prix and 15 tracks in the game. You would think they would use all of them. They don't. Very strange, that. Well, I failed to get in the lead immediately, so I have already lost as the Golden Fox. I'm, I'm not getting first. Goal now is to just stay alive, and I'm not even doing that well. Give me them balls. 
I'm doing okay with the turns. I, I thought I would be doing much worse with these turns. Suboptimal Skyway, but I gotta get back ahead again. This is where everyone's skywaying. And I, I might be like the second best at turning with the fox after the uh, the stingray. Maybe it's just because I'm willing to slow down more. I wanted to do nor a normal boost, not the skyway. Darn it. Now, I'm willing to slow down more on turns with the fox because it has the acceleration stat to uh, get back up to speed again. I don't feel like I'm going that much slower on them, though. That was bad. Whatever just happened was awful. I lost all my speed. Oh, no. Below the safe rank. This is it. This is where I go down. No! Give me the balls. Give me the balls. I need them. Give me the balls! Please? Well, I... Okay, I survived, but... Oh, that was another not great performance. I'm gonna get, like, the worst placements on every single race. But still make it to Firefield as Golden Fox anyway. Even when I play the worst as the vehicle I hate, I succeed. Maybe. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. I gotta get through one more and I gotta get top 20. I gotta beat uh, Rusty Venture. Jin, Kaji Jin Kojima and uh, Applejack. Played it safe with the mines. I didn't want to. I didn't want to weave through them. Oh, someone hit them. That was a good start. Don't jinx it, me. Golden Foxes are supposed to have good starts, and then that's when everyone else's catches up, is how it goes. At least for those unfortunate foxes who don't manage to stay ahead. Oh, even with a boost, Fox can barely make that. The speed isn't there. These are tight turns for the fox. Ooh, lost speed. I don't know what happened. I'm still in it. I'm still top 20. There's these turns. These bad turns at the end of the track. Great bumper. Might have been a better place to do that. No red. No red. I don't want to hit the red. Oh, 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 I don't like that health. Give me to give me to the pad. I've I've only gotten one skyway this whole race. Which is good in the sense that I've stayed in a good position, but... Did 
Top 20. I can do it. As long as I don't die. This is it. This is it. Yes! Firefield! I fucking hate Fox. I hate that I win as Golden Fox. in third place. Rusty Venture sticking by my side this whole Grand Prix. Alright, Firefield, this is fine. I don't need to win anymore. I just, I, I really wanted to get to this track. <laughs> Who is that next to me? Uh, first position could be a little dangerous on this track, what with the mines everywhere. Some sharp turns about. Real sharp turns here. And I'm already low health. That's bad. Hairpins. Eating walls. That's very bad. I need a boost. I need a pad. Yes. No, that's... No! I thought that was boost refill. That's not boost refill. That's that's slip slide. That's ice. Why is there ice in the lava stage? I'm going to say that's not my fault. That's uh that that's that's bad Super NES graphics. That lost me that race. I still get fire field, right? I don't have to complete the race. I think I would have gotten a badge for completing uh, completing the King's Circuit. Okay, I still got Firefield. That's fine. I am going to uh, do these last three time trials. And if I remember correctly... What did I do it as? I did, did I do it as Stingray? Yeah, most of... Some of these were Stingray. Some of them were Fox. I guess it's going to vary on the track. Mute City is... Doesn't have, a, like, super turns. I'll try Fox. Because I think the extra boosts that it gets... Matter more than the top speed stat. I didn't check what time I need to beat for this. Got to deal with the mines, or I got to avoid the mines. That's okay. That's that's easy. I get I get so many boosts per lap. Look at all these boosts I get. It's almost not fair how many boosts the Fox gets, compared to every other racer. I lose some speed, but that's okay, because I can't go too fast at that part of the track anyway. I wonder if I heal slower when I, my health is that low. Because normally I would... Uh, I would get, I would fill up that, that, that pretty fast, that amount. I'm gonna not go to minimum. Yeah, I filled up a significant amount more when I wasn't starting from the absolute bottom. Interesting hidden mechanic, I suppose. I Thankfully, I don't think this game has the mechanic where you can, like, go into mines for a speed boost. F-Zero GX had that.
There were times that you wanted to intentionally hit mines, especially on the first lap before you had access to boost. Because you just needed the extra speed. Alright, first try. Sub 148. Let me check the times for the other two. No, not practice workshop. Oh, because I didn't finish a race on Firefield. Oh, that sucks. I was so close to getting that. All right, Red Canyon is 204, and then 304 for Firefield. What was Red Canyon like? Red Canyon did have some sharp turns on it. Do I dare still try? I'll still try the Fox. 204 is what I gotta beat. That might have been a bad boost. No, I'm still good. Oh, that's bad. Don't want to do that. Also don't want to boost there. Okay. I know my boost spots. I say, and then do it in a bad spot immediately. Maybe even on a track with sharp turns, it still might be beneficial to do the Fox, just because having all of these boosts means that I can boost out of a sharp turn to regain speed again. Sharp turn up here. There we go. That's what you want to do. Uh. Sorry for the pause. I just had the thing happen again where I ran out of disk space. Why did that happen? Why is this recording so big? You know what? That's fine. I'll just I'll I'll put the rest together based on the I'll I'll just get the stream vod. I'm not going to I'm not going to do the thing I had to do for crash where I uh This happened during the crash 1 stream and I had to like take a 30 minute break to transfer the file to a different drive. I'm not going to do that. I only do the uh, the recording separate from the stream in case there's like an internet hiccup and uh, I, I, I drop frames or something like that. Oh, there's a speed boss. Speed loss. I didn't like that. This is a trap, this straightaway. It makes you think you can boost and then it puts a real sharp turn. The sharpest sequence of turns immediately after that. Uh, slide so much. What's my time to beat? 2.04? Oh, I don't know if that's happening or not. It's hard to say. Oh, it's just barely. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! 205. I can do it. I can tighten that up. I can not hit a dumb wall, and we'll, we'll be fine with that. 
I wish I could use the- I wish I could use the Stingray for this. I want the Stingray to get something. It just seems like it would be the vehicle for time trials because, uh... It has the best turning and the best top speed. But just having five or six boosts to use is too valuable. Maybe one more boost than I should have done there. Yep. Oh, a little wall. And now I'm low health, which means I move slower. Yeah, I definitely should have should not have gone with that extra boost, I don't think. I might still be able to recover. I think it was lap four last time that I ate that wall. Kind of like I'm doing now. Just wanted to give a demo of the wall eating I was talking about. Ooh. We're still good, we're still ahead. By almost enough. Is that the... Maybe that's the you did a good lap sound effect. Maybe that's what I'm hearing. No! Bad wall! Bad touch! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! No, you can't do it! I did the same thing as last time. I ate a wall at the very end where it mattered. I'm gonna be careful with that one boost that I did. I did one boost too many on the first lap, and that uh, lowered my speed for the rest of the rest of the race. All right, not gonna boost here. I'm just gonna refill. It's okay, it'll get- my ghost will get ahead of me for a moment. I shouldn't have boosted there. I got greedy. Why would you ever go- well, I guess if you want to, like, play it safe. If you want to play it safe, you go through the minefield on this track. Alright. I'm doing a little better each time. I think I can do it this time. I say, and immediately jinx myself. Well, now I'm neck and neck with my ghosts. And it's not going any slower despite being at lower health. Maybe I can still do it by not eating walls. Why is it always the last lap? Why is it always the last lap when I decide to eat walls? every time. I started off so great. If I just kept the momentum. I didn't eat any walls on the first lap. First lap goes great. 
Look at all these walls I'm not hitting. I wonder if people with ADD have, like, great lap times in racing games. But bad, uh, bad overall times. Or especially bad Grand Prix times. Because you just lose interest over the course of it. I do that. Clearly, that's what's happening to me. After the first lap, you're just like, well, I proved myself. Now I just want to be done with it. And now I'm trailing behind my ghost, so I am doing something worse this time around. Am I not boosting close enough to the, to the ramp, maybe? I wonder why I'm losing so much. I, I keep, like, nicking the very front of it is what's happening. I think I just need to boost closer to the ramp to ensure that doesn't happen. Say, but now I'm behind my ghost. So boosting earlier was more beneficial. I'm just, I'm losing ground now. I don't understand what I'm doing differently. I'm gonna try the Stingray. I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe my boy Goro can shine. need to boost there. What the... But I have the max top speed. How am I not going fast enough to make that? Okay, so even with the Stingray, that is a required boost spot. Do I lose that much speed from the part of the map previous? Prior? I only get about two boosts per lap with the with the stingray. And Fox boosts ahead because it has extra boosts to spare. I don't even get the full two boosts. Because the stingray, while it has the speed and the turning, is very, very inefficient with boosts. Maybe it's the jumps that uh, eat up my boost speed. Maybe that's just a really bad place to use the boost, is uh, before jumps. Yeah, clearly this isn't happening. I'm gonna go back to the fox and I'm gonna try to use that knowledge. I'm not gonna boost on the uh, jumps straight away. I'm going to be certain to boost on the final jump. I 
But if I don't boost there, I don't have a lot of opportunities to boost at all. I guess I do. I have, I have room for two boosts on the way to the boost pad. No boost. <sighs> Gotta not eat that wall. I don't boost on the jumps, but I do right after. Them. And I can get two boosts here. That's what I can do. But I'm still losing to the other. The existing ghost. I think because I'm just hitting too many walls. Even though the ghost I'm racing wasn't perfect either. Not an optimal sequence of turns. This is frustrating because I was so close, and now I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because I'm apparently doing worse than the first time I attempted it. Maybe I should not- maybe I should go through the mines. Not through the mines, but around the mines. Maybe that would be faster than taking the jumps. Because the jumps are, they're a straightaway, but I also lose speed from being in the air so long. It's not a particularly thrilling proposition to have to weave through the mines every lap, but if it's necessary, then it's necessary. Not really weaving, but uh, aiming. Eh, it might be faster. I say, but I'm still trailing. Maybe I'll just keep trying at it. If I remember, because I, if I remember correctly, this ghost still had a bad final lap. It wasn't that bad, but it was worse than the previous laps anyway. Walls! Oh, I hate it! I don't think this is happening. I don't think this is the run. I'll try. I'll finish it. Not confident. No, man. I 
try another vehicle like the Blue Falcon, but... I don't think it would go any better. I think the, the, boot, the number of boosts is still the difference maker. What happened there? I did the wrong boost timing, I think. Surely Fire Field will be easy. Surely I'll just roll over and do that time trial after this. That won't be another hour to the stream. It just, it seems the same. I don't know that the mines are saving any time. Feels like they should. Yeah, I nicked the thing again. I nicked the front of it. I don't know why that happens. There's the walls. Maybe I should come back to this. Maybe I should do Firefield and then come back and try this one again. I see, pe I see people like coming and going. I know this isn't. Time trials are not the most exciting part of F-099 for a lot of people. I like to do them just because, well, no one else does. I think it's cool to have footage of this game, especially since, you know, we're not going to have it before too long. I'm gonna use the boost. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that double boost because it doesn't seem like I'm being mean meaningfully punished by the uh, like the smoking speed. Trailing, though. Oh, slightly better turns that time. I'm caught up again. I need to shave off like a full... Eight to eight tenths of a second, though. Or a half second, I think it was. Oh, it's neck and neck. I think it's just taking these turns well. Taking the turns, like, well and not hitting any walls. I'm ahead of the ghost, but I don't think I'm, like, a half second ahead. No! Three... Yes! Sub 204, just barely. It was, like, 0.98. 9-1, okay. That's fine. Good enough. Well, that was a challenge. Let's try Fire Field, the track that we didn't get to fully race on. Okay, what's on this track? There's sharp turns. There's not a ton of opportunities for boosts, so... I'm gonna try the Stingray. The, the fox only really benefits if there's, like, three to four boost opportunities in a lap. And I, I don't necessarily see that on this track. Oh, 
Awesome minefield. Just drive straight. Meta strat. Well, you're almost never gonna hear this track in this game because it's on fire field and you only get to see it on the uh, on the final track of the one out of three Grand Prix. Stupid ice. Deceptive ice. I actually turned... Is that reverse ice? I turned sharper on that. I don't know what I mean by reversed ice, but it, it did feel like my handling was actually better, not worse, on that patch, whatever that patch was. Good, uh, good attempt at, uh, at guitar shredding on a muted Super NES sound font. It is, it's like a muted guitar instrument, is what it's doing. I don't think I'm gonna beat 304 on this attempt. I would need to get, like, uh... I need to get, like, sub-132 after two laps. See, this is a boost opportunity, this straightaway here. This one isn't, because there's a sharp turn coming up. I always eat wall on that, regardless of how well I seem to turn. I gotta real, really slow down for that. We got this series of turns, which is fine, and then here's a boost opportunity. Well, that just doomed it. It was doomed anyway, but uh, I'll, I'll, let me try the fox. Let me see how the fox does. That might have been a mistake, that boost right there. Yeah, that was not a good place to boost. Alright, so start of the race. And by extension, the minefield straightaway is a free boost spot. Followed by a sharp turn. Short straightaway, another sharp turn. A pair of sharp turns. This is the where I most need to pick up speed again. Oh, those are bad, those turns. No, it's ice. It's definitely ice. And there's that opportunity. Okay, so I see I see the spots. I've got three boost spots on this track. And that might be just enough to make the fox worth it. I hate that series, that those two turns are killer. That is the worst spot on this track. That's worse than the double hairpins. And the double hairpins are also pretty bad. This hairpin's not great. Uh, I'm close to sub 132 on the first two laps. I think I could squeeze this out with the fox. I don't actually lose too much speed on that first hairpin. This one's a killer. 
I say repeating myself. I might, I might have to break on that. I never really break in this game. Generally, to avoid losing speed, you want to uh, let off the gas and just slide. At the same time, is the sharpest turn you want to make. But uh, I might not be able to get away with that. I don't think this is going to be the one, the one but I'm going, to, I'm going to finish it just in case. Just so I have a bar to race against. I just, I stop completely for that series of turns. It's awful. I still braked, and it didn't matter much. I don't gotta worry... I don't have to worry about the boost pad for the final lap, so that's something. I need to shave, like, five seconds off of that, though. Already behind. Nope, don't like that. Silly me, I thought this would be easy after the last one. I don't even know if this is a track that would be good for uh, Stingray in, like, uh, the context of a Grand Prix. Usually it is with, like, the sharp turns and everything. But these turns are so, like, impossibly sharp and so numerous that even the Stingray cannot reliably make them. So bad. Okay, back up to speed. Shaved off one second. If I could do that each lap, that would be enough. And I remember this ghost had a uh, pretty bad lap four. I don't know how, how I can make that any tighter. That was not a good boost refill. Almost three seconds off. Making good pace, but I'm low on uh, low on meter. Oh, that was not a bad turn comparatively. I still hit a wall, but. I almost made it without hitting a wall on that one. I don't have enough boost. If you get interrupted while refilling, you don't get nearly as much out of it. That might have that might have fucked it. That failed refill on the third lap. Oh, so close. Oh, 
I need sub 304. I don't think, I still don't think it's gonna happen, but maybe. One, two, three, oh, 305. I can do it. I'm so close. Turn. Yes, it's possible. Holy hell, it's tight, but it's possible. Good first lap. I just gotta not mess up the refill. I didn't. Yes. Oh, that was so good. Still only half a second off, but you know what? That's all I need. If I can stay ahead for the rest. If I can stay ahead by the same amount for the rest of the race. Oh no. Bad turns, and I'm already behind again. Man! I got arrogant. I got penisy. This was the ghost with a bad lap three. I can still catch up again if I don't mess up my boost refill on any of the laps. Why, why, okay. That wasn't great, but it wasn't messed up that badly. Nope, 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 nope. And now I'm low on life again. Do I dare attempt the final boost? Nope. Ah! Start over. Great first lap. Gets bored. Fucks up. that wall. I guess I get why they made these tracks down to, uh, to 20 racers for only the end of uh, Grand Prix. These don't feel like tracks designed for 30 racers, much less 99. I wonder how many were actually in the first F-Zero. It might not have been 30. Maybe, maybe it was just 20. Alright. Not perfect, but... Could have gone, could have gone worse. Still taking that wall. No way I'm gonna get that perfectly all four laps. No! Ah. Let's talk about something. What else is going on in the world of games? I've mentioned Tony Hawk 1 and 2, the uh, the remaster that everyone actually liked. The only good remakes of uh, Tony Hawk games. It was like their, uh, their third attempt at that. Are uh, finally out on Steam. And that's upcoming. It's October, so we got a lot of games that we're uh, trying to fit into stream. That's why we haven't gotten around to a Tony Hawk yet, but it's coming. Nope. Nope. Bad. 
awful. Multiverses is supposed to come out in 2024. Unknown when in 2024. I'm curious how, uh... I'm curious how they'll change it. Because as I heard after the fact, according to uh, Nick Wickersham, I was not the only one who actually had problems with the game. It, it seems to me that everyone else was pretty positive about it while it was out, but uh, it seems in retrospect that uh, more people have had similar complaints that I had. So I'm wondering if... I hope they, fi I hope they fix it. I hope they make it a tighter, more fun game to play. Because I want it to be good. Especially because the, uh, the prospect of a double Smash Brothers is interesting to me. But not if, like, the hits are all unsatisfying and has weird mobile mechanics that no one wants. Nick All-Star Brawl 2 coming out sometime soonish. Sometime this next year. Actually, it might... No, it's a holiday release. It was moved to a uh, November for digital or December for physical release. I don't know if this is... It was moved up or if it was uh, delayed. All I know is that it was announced to be moving to those dates. And uh, I'm curious about the game. But I'm also now... In, I'm inherently cautious... I'm inherently cynical about any game that is announced to be moving to a holiday release. Especially since that's exactly what screwed over the first Nick, Nick All-Star Brawl. This is going to be a tight one. going to compliment myself on that turn because that's going to jinx it. I'm just going to race my best and I'm going to hope that I get a good time and not eat wall. Jackbox tomorrow, and uh, Terradrome next weekend. Looks like fun. I would like for a Switch 2 soon, but at the same time, I, I don't have the money for a Switch 2. So, I guess it won't matter until there's games on it anyway. The, uh, the Switch also launched, the Switch launched with a not great library of games. It, it, uh, it took a while before it actually had a, an, an amount of stuff on it. Y'all remember 1-2 Switch? That, uh, that classic everyone was clamoring for?
I wonder how impressive that was in the Super NES era, that, uh, that guitar solo. Why did I boost? I hit the boost button by accident. That's not great. My ghost is already on my tail. Somehow I'm still half a second ahead. Never mind, there he goes. He being me. I had a bad fourth lap, though. Maybe I can still eke it out. Good turns. Just gotta maintain this. I gotta keep enough health to get that final boost. And one more. No! Still not enough! Same time! I still need half a second off of that. Well, I definitely made lots of mistakes on that attempt, so... It's still doable. I'm not giving up yet. This is about as much time as I spent on the, uh, the white land 2, if I remember correctly. It took me a number of tries for that time trial as well. why it vibrates while it's boosting. I guess it's just, it's a series of speed boosts happening. Every one of those turns is tight. Every one of those turns I have to let off the gas for. these canonically run on. Do you think F-Zero vehicles are, are electric? Do they run on, uh, what, what's the, what's the, what's the, the Transformers stuff? Energon? No. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know Transformers. Correctly, this ghost had a bad lap three. So it might still be doable. I can't put too much I can't put too much importance on how I'm doing against the ghost, because none none of the ghosts have been like really good yet. That was the frustrating part of the previous track, is that I was having ghosts without any obvious like I didn't do bad on any single lap, so I can't really hope to catch up again once I'm behind. Here's where I catch up. Now I gotta stay ahead. I got a good refill. Oh, 
lot of walls. I don't like them walls. You can hear how big the hit was. Three. <clears throat> I'm so close. I was considering if I finish this and it's team battle up, I make one more attempt for the 20 team battles, but... Even if I did well, it would be, again, it'd be a 50-50, it'd be a coin flip whether I actually win a team battle, so... I don't think I care enough to do that. I'm gonna get this time, and then that'll be it. That'll be the end of it. Definitely feels worth it to boost through the magnet sections because uh, you get decelerated less by the magnets. You can see I just have to uh, I have to tap the slide, whereas if I'm going at normal speed, I have to hold it the entire time. Hate that turn. That turn is the worst. losing a lot of speed on that final S turn. I don't have a surefire way to avoid that. No! Ah! Just gotta be perfect. Statistically, this is someone's favorite part of an F-Zero stream. Someone loves watching F-Zero time trials. I don't know if they love watching me because I'm bad at them, but... Hey, if that's you, shout out to you, guy. It is pretty repetitive. This is the one, I mentioned this before, this is the one part of F-Zero I never fully completed, is uh, the uh, Staff Ghosts, the Time Trials, which are as difficult as any other part of F-Zero, if not more so. It's because it's right after the ice, that S-turn is why I never, uh, I can never get it just right. Part of me is surprised that the uh, Aqua Team guys never came to a, to a multiverses, but at the same time, Adult Swim has obviously very adult properties. Like, uh, Rick and Morty are the only ones with enough clout in, like, the mainstream consciousness, the public consciousness, that they can get away with being in a game like that. You know, games a lot of kids are going to be playing. Because even kids who have, like, never seen the show are going to know, oh, those are the characters from the t-shirts everyone wears, and the, and the memes that I see in the internets. That's the Pickle Rick guy when he's not a pickle. I don't know if, I, I don't know if Aqua Teen quite has that.
don't know which is more, like, mainstream between uh, Aqua Teen or Venture Brothers. Those are the only two that I can reasonably see. The only two Adult Swim properties after Rick and Morty I could see in multiverses. I want to say uh, Metalocalypse, but uh, that's become more of like a... That's more of a cult following. Maybe I just need to slow down more before those turns. Maybe that's all there is to it. What is with... What's happening with these this drifts? Hold on. If it... For, at, at some points, it's like I'm not drifting continuously. It just happens in a burst for some reason. Like that. What was that? Why did I suddenly veer to the right all of a sudden? I don't know what happened. Bad start. Now been at this so long that I'm hitting the point where like my my vision's going blurry. I just I want to stop looking at red. You know how it is. No, ah, I had the lead and I ruined it. Why? What am I doing? I don't want to give up. Imagine getting 14 out of 15 time trials in the course of the F-Zero streams. That would just be sad. So I slow down way more than usual on those. I can't tell if I came out positive versus just hitting the wall or not. I'm a little ahead, but not very far ahead. Yeah, 0.15 seconds. Turn than usual. Little Wally, not too much.
Why did I... Never turn when you're against a magnetic wall. You gotta you only slide. Slide only. I am still far enough ahead that I could make it if I stay this far ahead. I don't remember this particular run, whether he had bad laps three or four, and getting distracted by that is going to be bad, so I gotta stop thinking about it. slide. Here we go. How far ahead are we now? Barely enough. I gotta really stay on top of it this lap. enough. It will. Yes! We did it! Sub 304. Oh, that was not worth it. That took way too much effort. I, I, I did all the time trials. There we go. I did Deathwing 2, right? I didn't just imagine that not having it. Yeah, I did it. Okay, good. What does that look like? Uh, let me see my shiny new, uh... Ute City 3. Red Canyon. Firefield looks kinda cool. What did I have previously? I had that one. It does, that one still think looks the coolest, though, I think. Still gotta finish a course, a race on Firefield for that. But you know what? That's alright. We don't even have a team battle to try. Alright, I think I'm about done with F0 GX. I didn't have any F0 GX. F0 99. I'll probably still come back to it. I, I'm so close to a couple of these goals that I do want to finish them, but uh, I'm not gonna be playing it regularly. I think a lot of people aren't quite as much anymore. We saw all the tracks. I did all the tinked, all the all the leagues, all the Grand Prix, all the time trials. I got my fill of streaming this game. Any of you guys who watched the whole things, thank you guys. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining. Anyone who's just here today, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow for our group Jackbox stream. Adios.